All right, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got from this to this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jeff. Hope you guys are enjoying your quarantine, because I am, I guess. I'm sure like a lot of you uh, have been very bored. So I, I took to Instagram and thought it would be fun to ask other photographers for their raw photos to see if I can try to edit them or put my own spin to it. Full disclosure, I'm not a professional, uh, I'm not a professional photographer or editor or anything like that. I just kind of do this, you know, for fun. And I thought it'd be fun to show you guys like my process or my workflow and like my thoughts on how I go about editing something like this. So depending on how this video goes, uh, I might do more in the future. I might not, I might try something else. I don't know, let me, let me know what you guys think. Also, if I plan this correctly, um, this video should come out on my birthday. So it's my birthday. <laughs> All right, enough talking. Let's let's get into this. All right, so uh, I just want to thank my buddy Tony for sending on uh, sending in this photo of his actual own BRZ. So usually when I start a photo, I kind of I kind of like to visualize or kind of plan out things that I want to do to the photo. Now this is just to say for the video, but I'm going to be like circling the the things that I'm going to be editing. I don't usually do this for every photo that I do. This is just to show you guys kind of like a, a mental image of what I do before I start editing. So first off, I'm definitely gonna be getting rid of uh, these uh, these light poles in the background, a little distracting. Just make this smaller. <laughs> And then these cracks in the ground up in the front are a little bit distracting, so I'm going to try to get rid of those too. Oh, this windshield's a little blown out, so I'm going to try to take that down. It looks like there's like some scratches here or something, like right by the, uh, the edge of the bumper here I'm going to try to take out. Probably going to try to like brighten up the wheels to make them pop a little bit more. And then uh, just trying to like clean up the the chrome. That's a general idea of the things I'm going to be working on. All right. So first off, we're just going to be taking the photo into camera raw filter. If you're, if you're familiar with Lightroom, this is basically Lightroom. So what I try to do is try to try to make everything less contrasty and like kind of flat, just so that everything is visible and um, it, it just makes it easier for me to make adjustments. Just being able to see everything like flat. And of course, you know, uh, white balance. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna try to get rid of these uh, light poles. Right? So I'm just using the healing brush. Basically what it does is just kind of guesses what is supposed to be there and just replaces it automatically for you. I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the car without actually overlapping the car or touching it. Right, now I switch to the uh, clone stamp, which actually just copies over from the side or wherever I, I pick from. And that looks, that looks pretty good, good enough. Same thing over here. And then right over here. Now the reason why I'm using the the clone stamp over here as opposed to the healing brush is because it is more control. I'd like to choose exactly what goes there rather than having Photoshop guess what should be there. So it's before and then after. Now going back to the healing brush, uh, I'm just gonna get rid of all these like um, like chips in the paint, like rock chips, and then anything that looks mildly distracting. 
all these like water spots. Oh god, there's so many, so many rock chips. It reminds me of Maya for us. <laughs> Now, usually if you're taking photos of car and you're um, far enough away, all these chips like are pretty much invisible to the camera, especially if you're shooting in a crop sensor or something. Most of the time you will never notice them unless you like zoom in really, really close. I like to take advantage of that sometimes just cause, uh, <laughs> just so I don't have to clean my car. I'll just shoot from further away. <laughs> All right, so we're good with the car for now, and then let's go. Let's go take a look at this crack down here. So I'm just gonna try to let uh, the healing brush or Photoshop take care of it the best day I can. It's a kind of a big area, so it's taking a little while to load. It's not so bad. Now there's uh, there's some spots that are like in focus, and then the rest is like out of focus. Uh, that looks kind of bad, but honestly, that's not too big of a deal. I'm gonna take care of that at the end. Don't worry about it. And you know what? I'm just gonna get rid of these like little white specks on the side here. And it's looking good. So next, we're gonna be working on the windshield. Basically, I uh, duplicated, duplicated the layer and then I'm using the pen tool to uh, like basically make a selection of just the windshield. I'll, uh, I'll fast forward this for you guys. So I got that selected and kind of like refined the uh, the points. <clears throat> I'll just make a selection right there and then throw on a mask. So everything that I do from this point is only going to affect the uh, the windshield. So I'm going to throw on a brightness and contrast, take down the contrast. Oh, make sure it's on the right layer. Oh, make sure it's only affecting the, the layer below it. All right, and then just turn down the brightness a little bit. Not all the way, but just, just a little bit. Now I'm throwing on a hue and saturation filter. And I'm gonna to try to get rid of this like greenish blue shade. Right, right about there is good. All right, now going back to the mask, I'm gonna to try to paint back in this uh, the decal. It's gonna be a while, so uh, let's fast forward this. So it's not perfect, but hey, you know, I'm a photographer. Photographers are lazy. Uh, <laughs> so here's the before and after. It's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to duplicate um, my uh, this layer again. And I'm going to be working on the front wheels. So just like the windshield, I'm just going to make a rough mask with the pen tool around the wheel. And then once again, just make a mask from that. So everything that you do um, is only going to affect that selected area on this layer. So I'm going to throw on a hue and saturation layer. So basically what I do is uh, go to the, all the, uh, the color channels and just desaturate everything a little bit. Just because Chrome likes to reflect, you know, everything. And then you don't want everything reflected. <laughs> And then all the hardware and the lug nuts are like kind of like yellowish gold. So I'm going to boost up the yellow channel a little bit. And then the calipers are red. So I'm just going to, you know, saturate the red a little bit. Sometimes I, I like to push it really heavy and then work backwards to see what um, is natural. And then I'll go back to the master channel and, you know, just brighten it up a little bit. 
push the saturation and see how ugh, how bad it looks. All right, and I'll zoom back out for uh, before and after. So it's a, a slight a slight difference, but it makes it just pop just a little bit more. And then basically almost the exact same thing for the back wheels. Um, <clears throat> if you want, you can actually just um, put both of them on the same layer. But sometimes, you know, I don't know, uh, back wheels can look a lot different than front wheels, so you'd want to work on them separately. It's just up to you, like how much control you want over the overall image. But if you're lazy, like I am sometimes, I just put them on the same layer. Or sometimes I just don't even work on them. And I noticed uh, as I was doing that, that there's like little like dots on the tires that I kind of want to just get rid of. There you go. <laughs> is there one over here too? Yeah, there it is. And you know what? Might as well just get rid of these like cracks by the car. And now I'm just gonna look before and then after, before, after. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So this is the, the retouch stage that I do. I'm just gonna highlight everything and then hit uh, right click and then merge together so it's all just one layer. And I'm gonna throw that on the camera raw filter. So from here on, it's just gonna be more styling rather than retouching. So I'm gonna boost up the contrast a little bit or a lot maybe. <laughs> Take down the highlights because I want to I want to bring back some of that texture in the sky. Push up the texture and the clarity because you know that's the car the car photographer thing to do because it just makes it look extra sharp and a lot better. And then what I do is uh, go to the, uh, the color adjustments, go to the saturation, and kind of like the wheels, just take down um, take down all the all the colors that aren't blue. Because uh, for a lot of my photos, um, I like to keep it have I like I like all my photos just to have like kind of a a central color or just like one main color. And um, for cars, it's usually whatever the car color is. So in this case, it's blue. So I'm gonna I'm gonna push the blues a little bit and then desaturate everything else. So the main focus is that that blue. Yeah. So if you see like the car really popped and the, everything in the background is just kind of like. You don't, it doesn't really catch your attention that much. Now I'm going to add a vignette. I'm using a graduated filter instead of use, uh, using the, uh, the vignette slider, just because this gives you a little bit more control. You know, sometimes I, I want it darker on the bottom and like lighter at the top or vice versa. And then this just lets me help, you know, really dial in the look that I want. Now, if you remember when we were retouching, um, they had like that kind of weird anomaly at the bottom where it was kind of like like focused on one part and then unfocused and blurry so i'm just going to try to like cover that up with the filter and then for the top i'm just going to really 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 push or take down the exposure just to i don't know really stylize the sky and it's looking really blue so i'm going to just you know take the temperature and bring it more towards the, the yellow side or the warmer side. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna hit okay on that. Wow, it looks a lot better. <laughs> There's the before and after. Huge difference. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this uh, photo. Yeah, so I know this sounded like a tutorial, but I wasn't really trying to teach you anything. I'm just showing you guys like my, my own process of how I do things. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thanks Tony for uh, this photo of your car. Um, if you want to go check out his social media, put it right up there. And it's also going to be in the description if you want to actually click on it. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I can do more of these or if you guys want to submit your own photos, hit me up on Instagram. But yeah, hope uh, hope everybody's just, you know, getting themselves, uh, keeping themselves entertained during this quarantine, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Well, anyways, uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.